Hi, my name is Lena and welcome to this episode where I will go through warp modes. What are they? What are they for? How do they work? Like, what? Like, how? So I will explain it to you if you're confused. Because I was in the beginning, but I'm not anymore. So now I can tell you. Anyway, yeah, that's what's in this video. <laughs> Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. This episode is part of another episode that I, I launched today, which is all about warping. So if you want to know everything that there is to know about warping, go and watch the other video, which is all linked here, 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 and down below, like everything about warping. So there might be something you didn't know yet. I don't know. Maybe you did know everything. Please subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of cool Ableton Live stuff. I have a lot of cool stuff in general, uh, music production, fun stuff. Then please subscribe to this channel and I'll now let you go and see the tutorial. Okay, just watch the tutorial. Okay, so the first work promote we have here is Beats. Under Beats, we have an area drop down menu called preserve. In there you have different set values but you also have option called transient. So this transient is usually the most recommended option example for percussion. Any of these fixed values can create really cool rhythmic elements especially when you're working with drums. So the arrows under here select the looping properties of each segment and segments are what we choose here to preserve. We can control the volume fades to each segment with this. And 100 means no fade and zero. And zero means that the segment will decay real quick. So let's have a listen how that sounds. So this is transient. And when that's in zero, you can see that the decay is real of the segment is really quick. But if I start increasing it, you can hear the segment going much longer. After this, we have tones mode. So this is specially good for clear pitch elements, sounds that are less about the rhythm. So we have one epic example here. And under there, we have select the grain size. The grain size, again, about the control over different parts of segments of audio warping. So this is all to do with the warping and the segments of the grain size that we're selecting. It's recommended that if you have a very even pitch, so very clear one, we can have a very small grain. And when we have a very complex pitch, we can have a higher grain. Next one, we have texture. And this is very good, for example, uh, less clear pitch sounds like orchestra, choir, like that. But this time, the grain size is not going to be considered the signal characteristics like it did in tone modes. So we're still sec selecting the grain size that we would like to use, but it's more like a set thing. What mo flux means under here is that it makes the process more random. So this can be especially very cool for sound design purposes. <laughs> Next, we have repitch mode, which is over here. So what this means that it works basically the same way as turntables work. So what repitch does is that it makes the audio faster or slower depending the global tempo of the project and it repitches it. So let's have a look. So I go to the global BPM. what repitch does. Then we have complex. So in other warp modes, you can select area to preserve as we've been talking about with the grain options, but complex basically tries to preserve it all. Greedy little thing. So it tries to preserve all this. So especially more complex rhythms like a full track. It's good for long songs and full songs, but it takes a lot more CPU to use. Under there, we have Complex Pro. So Complex Pro is the same as the Complex, but 
Plus, there's format and envelope controls under there. So especially, I like using this for vocals and vocal manipulation. So let's have a vocal here, and I select Complex Pro, and I'm just gonna now transpose it quite a lot. So example, let's go octave higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quite natural, so it sounds almost like the person would be singing it. And that's what format does, is that Format saves the sample's original tonal quality um, when it's example transposed quite drastically like that. So if we go to the other end of the format, it sounds like a mouse. So the envelope area instead is all about the spectral qualities of the sound. So usually the 128, which is originally there anyway, is good for everything. But if we're gonna go for higher sounds, like example this, lower values are good. So I like it about run 97 for this one example. That's all the warp modes. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please come again, please subscribe, please share. Please tell your friends about everything that is happening on this channel. And I'll see you here next week as I post every single Sunday. Sunday. Okay. <laughs>